Hey, welcome back. Uh, we're going to continue on our uh, workshop this month of uh, the watercolor stars, or watercolor nightscape. And uh, this week we're going to be adding trees to that uh, nightscape. So uh, uh, all you're going to need is a Sharpie marker, pretty much. And uh, then you're going to need a little practice, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So uh, get, your, uh, get your paper out, and uh, let's have some fun. I've got two pens I'm going to use. One is just a Sharpie marker, and uh, the other is a Faber-Castell Pitt um, brush pen. And I'm going to show you how to use them both. Using them both, the Sharpie can be problematic uh, because sometimes it's it's hard to get a a good tip. But I wanted to show you uh, just uh, how to practice this and and uh, doing these trees. Uh, I'm I'm pretty much doing evergreen trees uh, or pine trees, whatever. Uh, but um, the shape is is really simple it's it's pretty much just a triangular shape i'm just starting at the top and uh, working those branches out a little wider as i go down and uh, that's really pretty much all there is to it i would suggest before you uh, try this on your watercolor that you do what i'm doing here and just take a, a piece of paper doesn't even have to be watercolor paper necessarily uh, and uh, get your sharpie marker out and uh, just practice uh, drawing these. Now here's the brush pen and I'll just show you for comparison purposes uh, it really is going to give me almost the same effect um, that the Sharpie does so you don't need to spend a lot of money on fancy stuff if you don't want to. Uh, this works very well and uh, the main thing that you you do want is you want to use something that is permanent uh, as opposed to uh, I don't like to use watercolor for uh, these trees because uh, they tend to not show up as well and the markers just tend to come out better so there's just some basic uh, trees so so let's uh, take that and apply it in our actual painting now one of the keys here to making this look good is variety uh, don't make the trees all the same height uh, now, the, I, I've actually seen some where the artist has made the tree height, but it's a very stylistic approach or a stylized approach, and uh, and it does look quite nice. But for uh, you know, kind of a quasi-realistic effect, add some variety. Uh, use you know, here, you know, see, I'm I'm doing some some very, and uh, and those are actually. You know, intended to be more in the distance, not so much small trees. But I'm just trying to maintain variety in the size of the trees, uh, the positioning. Don't space them all equally. Uh, get them, you know, get them different again, different sizes, different uh, different positions, and make it make it interesting uh, for. Paintings like this, landscape paintings, things like this, you 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 don't want uh, symmetry. You want to you know get some uh, again get different sizes, and, and you could even put different kinds of trees in. I'm I'm mostly doing these uh, evergreens because uh, they're probably the easiest to do with with a marker like this. But uh, you know, practice on uh, on some paper and. Uh, just draw in whatever feels good. Don't try to match what I'm doing here, uh, but uh, give yourself a good representation of trees on both sides. And as you do that, then uh, you're going to have a nice composition. Uh, you know, in this particular picture, uh, the the stars are. I guess our main focal point, uh, but we want to make sure that uh, the other elements of the picture uh, or the painting also, you know, contribute. So, uh, you know, take some time thinking this through. Uh, you might actually take a little time to plan it out. Uh, I'm just winging it here, but uh, there's uh, it, there's a lot to be said for taking the time to. Uh, 
you know, perhaps on another piece of paper, uh, just mark off the uh, diamond and the first and, and give you what to do. And you might even do that in, you know, kind of a, a soft pencil rather than a Sharpie marker just to, to give yourself an idea of what your composition is going to be. Uh, and now I've, you notice I've got that gap at the bottom and uh, that I'm going to just go back to the old Sharpie marker. I've been using my brush pen uh, and I'm going to fill that in. And that's going to give us a nice a nice dark front to contrast with our stars that we're going to put in. And we're going to do the stars next week uh, for our last les lesson in uh, uh, watercolor starscape. And so uh, I hope you will practice this, have some fun with it, and then uh, I'll see you next week and we'll uh, finish this painting up.